Yeah, yeah. I think I think I think Night People the record is a little bit of a redemption for us as an artist and a band. We've been a band for ten years now, and we wanted to kind of push our levels to a a new height. So that's why we kind of went away from the social media and just kind of did it on our own time. And we went and worked with Jakir King, who produced James Bay to Kings of Leon to Nora Jones. To Tom Waits, so what did he, bring to the he brought a real live feel to the record. Where yeah. that's all right, no worries. <laughs> that's all right. I think Jake what Jakir brought to our record, really, right now, is something that's never been captured in the Yumi at Six record, and that's our live ambition and how we play as a group of people. We've been doing this for 10 years now. Yeah. 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 I think really what we wanted to emulate in this record is the anthemic kind of rock sound that we had before, but also in incorporate a side of groove into the record that you meet six has never had. Uh, no, but so we spent a lot of time and hence why we played the record live as well is because it's not robotic, it feels natural, it's between five people playing music, it's like a painting, if you make a painting and you make a mistake, it's art, so that's how I look at it as. Excellent, and um, yeah, so 10 years, another 10 years? Yeah, another 10 years, that's the game plan anyway really for us right now as an artist is... We didn't expect this to happen to us, but we wanted longevity. So for us, to make 10 years is great, but how do we make another 10 or 20 years right now? And I think for us, it's looking and emulating your idols from the Rolling Stones to the Beatles to, to artists that had long careers and now become timeless pieces of music over the course of time to digest with fans' music. So really for us, we just want to push it. Excellent. And next year, I mean, festival-wise, have you already planned in a few things? Not really at the moment. We're, we're talking back and forth with some festivals at the moment, which we're excited about, but really for us, it's just the release of a record night people on the 6th of January. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Honestly, I'm telling you now, if you put a bet on the over the years, and you know, we're happy to be invited to come along, but I feel like this is a big year for you, this is coming up. 2017 is the year we release our new album, and to see really where we've done the arenas, we've had the number one albums now, about where can we take it now, what's next in our journey, and I feel like this is a really cool way to end off 2016 because we've had a lot of time in the studio, rehearsal rooms, not so much time doing things like this. So ultimately, we can't just tonight is uh, us letting our hair down in a way. Not that we're going to go too crazy. I think our calves are a bit flayed though. Mine's already down anyway. So. Your, 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 your hair's already down. I'll get my calves in the carpet. Uh, no, I'm joking. Um, Uber later, yeah. But no, it's a great. It's the BBC Music Awards. So you've got to be excited about that. If you can't get excited about that, then you're in the wrong business. What are you doing? Josh, you see, man. I saw, I saw you do a secret set already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the tiny, little, yeah, the tiny, the tiny pit that was getting rock and roll. Sweaty okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and hot. Sorry, okay, what's, your, right. what's your name? Oh, I'm Max. 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 You're Max. I'm Max. Josh. Okay, Max. What's your favourite album of 2016? Favourite album of 2016 has been Childish Gambino's record, which dropped this month. Wake of my, I can't, wake of my child or wake of my woman, but it's so like. For, a, for, for an artist to put out a record in December to be the best record of the year for me to say is a bold statement, but it's one that's caught me off guard because it's got groove, it's got feel, and it's not what I think he used to be like. He's changed it from like hip hop and rap to almost funk and soul. It's got this Prince essence all over it, which for me is there's room in the market now for that, and I think he's captured it perfectly. Anything else? Any new artists? Yeah, for new artists for next year. I've been listening to the Amazons recently, who are really excited. Me a band from Reading, they're yeah, on a lot yeah. of sound poles for next the year. They're Reading boys as well, which is not far away from me, so nice I can local music. What, what are you doing tonight? Are you playing tonight? No, we're not playing tonight, we're just hanging out, coming down for a few drinks, just being us, a bit of rock and roll. Yeah. Enjoy yourselves. It's Might go for drinks, free drinks, a few after parties, you never know. It's been awful. We might it's rock it up a little bit. We'll still be up at 9 a.m. Yeah, we probably will be, to be honest with you, but that's the way it goes. Yeah.
you got a bit of a break month in January? No, we've actually got our new record uh, called Night People, which comes out on January 6th. So really for us, it's actually quite a short period right now, but we've been excited for it. It's a record we've been working on all this year. We've done it with Jakir King, who's, uh, who's worked probably most known for his Kings of Leon and James Bay records he's done before. So like a big sort of ritzy studio? Then. Yeah, we worked at a place called Blackbird Studio in Nashville, which is really one of the most prolific studios in the world. And it's a great space, and we got to make a record there for two or three months. Jump to sound up like another notch. Yeah, it's pushed us to a new level because actually, for the first time as a band, we've recorded live all at the same time and use that into that and then kind of done a little bit of overdubbing instead of just being one person at a time. It's more more nice sort of natural feel. So it's kind of caught our dynamic of the band, yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. for us we kind of hit hard and fast and I think really for Chiki he's kind of caught that on the first time in a record that you meet Six has ever done before. Was it, was it a long process? Um, it was a different process. The process of instead of recording it two months straight we kind of did it one month, had two months break and then came back to it again. So it was nice to have that break. What's the, what's the thing that makes it such a long process? A toy for example, just did a record in 12 days, so just like fish bash, you know, yeah. just do that. Well, what's the thing that makes it like a three month process? Um, we kind of want to have time to sit back and listen to the music we're making instead of being like, you're writing an album's worth in X amount of time, you've got to write it, then record it and go, and you don't have time to live with it. And as a as consumer as music and a, an artist, you want time to sit and listen to music and be like, do I appreciate this so It's not every day, like... Like, like in a way, it's more just like contemplation and editing and like... Yeah, it's you know. kind of like, you kind of sit there and digest it and really think, am I going to listen to this in six months' time? Yeah. Because if you rush music, it comes out and sounds rushed. For us, we wanted to take some time off, be us, write music that we're enjoying right now and put you to another level. So what, what's your writing process like? What, what the writing process is really for us, five to sit in a room all together, write some music, if some like, people have got riff ideas or vocal ideas or a drum beat. We just collab, man. That's what we do. Are you any of you like musically trained, or do you come out with, with more intuitive angle? Um, really, like four of us came from a music college called Brooklyn's and Waveridge, and for us, it's not like a music school that people are used to hearing. Like, because there's been like music school where Adele and the Maccabees and all that lot have come from. So for us, it was a bit more of an organic growth from there. And really, it's just about making music we enjoy and not having to worry about that you classically trained. If it feels right, then it's going to be right. Nice one, man. Cool. And good luck with the album. Thank you, you know. very much. Much appreciated. Really appreciate it. Yeah,